Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over five tips on how to pass the CPA exam. So if you want to see more of these type of videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. Tip number one is to make sure that you have a plan. And in this plan, you want to figure out three things. You want to figure out what order you're going to take the exam, the amount of time you're going to need for each exam parts, and then lastly, what the test dates are actually going to be. The order of the exam I had taken mine was audit, BEC, FAR, and then regulations, but in hindsight, I wish I had taken the hardest one first and then the easy ones later. There's actually a quote by Dale Carnegie that says, do the hard jobs first, the easy jobs will take care of themselves. So I wish I had actually taken FAR first and then I wish I had taken audit, regulation, and then BEC. Tip number two is that the earlier you start, the better. I can't emphasize this enough, but this is the advice that all of the CPAs that I knew at the time were telling me as soon as I got out of college was to do it as soon as possible. And I really agree with this because life just gets busier as time goes on. And honestly, there's also bonuses sometimes um, that your company could give you if you do pass a CPA exam or if you are licensed, you can get a higher salary earlier on. So just keep that in mind that it's very helpful if you have it done as soon as you get out of college, especially when the material is already fresh in your mind. Tip number three is to know how you best study. So for me, I was able to study the best when I was in my room with no music on and it was at nighttime and it was a self-study. For you, it may be a little different, but you can ask yourself a few questions. Where do you study the best? Do you study better with the doors closed in your own room where no one can bother you? Or do you study better at a cafe or a library? And then you can also ask yourself, do you study better in the morning, at the night, um, or throughout the day? You know, do you study better with or without music? And is the most effective way of studying um, you know, a lecture or is it a self-study book? So those are things that you can definitely ask yourself. Um, and there's another quote that I wanted to share with you guys. It says, motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going by Jim Ron. Tip number four is to get support from those around you. And that could be your family, your significant other, your bosses, your coworkers, and it's important for a few things. It's important for accountability and also so that they know what you value. If you value passing the CPA exam, they will be a lot more understanding. So for instance, if you don't tell your coworkers or your bosses at work that you're studying for the CPA exam, they might find it weird if you're leaving earlier or if you're not doing the work at your cubicle and those type of things. So just letting them know how important it is for you to pass right away is super important. And also for those in your significant other, your family, your friends, if they also know, they'll see how important it is for you to study for this exam and to get it done as soon as possible. Tip number five, and this is the last tip, is to make sure that you know that you can take breaks. So I know that sometimes it's hard to kind of stop what you're doing, but you do want to be able to take breaks throughout the day. So what I like to do is throughout the day, I would take mini breaks here and there and, you know, whether it be eating a meal or being able to go for a walk or watch a 20 minute episode. And after I took an exam and I was waiting for the exam score, I would usually take longer breaks. So don't feel like you're, you're trapped or you're stuck here in your room or you know, just constantly studying, but really know that there are other w things that you can do besides just studying all the time and just make sure that you don't burn out. So that is the end of this video. Um, if you have any other questions or if you want to talk more about, you know, CPA exams or any of those topics, just leave a comment or a question down in the box below and I'll make sure that I respond to it. Um, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye!